Okay, so I started using Bitbuck and I'm gonna show you how to use it with Xcode. So I'm gonna actually start completely from scratch. I'm using like a different uh, Google account. So I'm gonna to go to Bitbucket. I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, get started. So you can see it's a repository. They explain a little bit on their website. Uh, the really nice thing is under five users in your group, free an unlimited private repository. So these are repositories that uh, you can access, but uh, nobody else can. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and do get started. And uh, I'm gonna do sign up with your Google account. And I'm gonna choose my Google account I wanna choose. Accept that. And uh, I want a personal account, that's free. Uh, complete the sign up. Okay, so we see set an SSH key. I'm gonna go ahead and just regenerate a key. So this will probably goof up my GitHub stuff, but that's okay, I can go ahead and fix that later on. So uh, there's a couple of commands and a link down below here, um, and I'll just run those. So SSH key gen uh, minus T RSA minus B forty ninety six. And make sure you put in your own information. <laughs> okay. Oh, minus capital C. And uh, I'll just press enter. Uh, yes, I want to overwrite it. Then you gotta enter a passphrase, and this is, uh, you won't see any dots or anything like that up here. All right, and then once you have that, you'll have a file that will have your passcode. So um, I can do a more, well actually, uh, if I do a ls, so um, this directory is actually, so if you do a cd curly bracket dot ssh, I'll get you this directory that has your RSA pub. And that's the file that has your key in it. So you're gonna copy the contents of that file into the bit bucket. All right, and then once you have that, um, go ahead and set a password. All right, and then go ahead and go to your dashboard. Okay, and then um, the last time I did this with the Google, it asked for my email. But once I logged back in with my Google, um, it worked. So uh, the next step, we got to create a repository. And I'm going to call this uh, my sweet app. <laughs> it's going to be pretty sweet. Um, the description, a demo of a bit a bucket. This is a private repository. I'm gonna make it a Git. You can use a Mercurial. Um, the language. Uh, Objective C. Hey, they do. Swift, sweet. I also have a hip chat thing. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna go ahead and create the repository. And uh, yep, I have an existing project. We don't have it yet, but. Um, this is our origin file that we need. So I'm just going to copy that. Yep. Let's go ahead and open up Xcode. And I'm going to create a new Xcode project. Single view application. Bit bucket demo. Make sure it's in Swift. Create git, create that. Okay, so now I got a local, I need my global. So I'm gonna go to source control and uh, configure Bitbucket demo. I'm gonna choose remotes, do a plus, add a remote, origin, address, paste. Add the remote. Done. 
I need a little bit of code. Uh, got my view controller. Do a print line. Working with a bit bucket. Go to my storyboard. Can I add me a label? Yay, bit bucket. And uh, make it save. Maybe a source control commit. Confirm. Okay, so you have to put in that password you typed in for the at the terminal. Um, initial commit. And yeah, I'm gonna commit the two files. And then I'm gonna do a source control push. All right, push. Oh, good. Okay, let's test this out. Um, I'm gonna go back to my Bitbucket, reload. Here isn't a readme, that's sad. <laughs> but I do have a branch. I got some commits, it's working. And uh, basically it's the same as GitHub kind of, except for it's uh, private. So you don't have to worry about other people looking at your code, um, which is good and bad. So like I said in my little blog post, uh, basically, if you're trying to get a good portfolio going, then you probably want to go ahead and uh, use GitHub so that people can see your code, how you code, that kind of thing. But if you're working on like your own app and you don't want anybody copying your app until it's out into the market, uh, this is a good place to kind of start. You also have your SSH key up here. Well, not key, but the location. So for example, um, so I run this. Okay, yay, Bitbucket. So let's say you want to share this with a coworker and they uh, log into your repository. Um, so I'm going to close out Xcode. Window. Welcome to Xcode. When you first start up Xcode, I'm going to check out an existing project. And that's already in there. Um, Darn. <laughs> so you basically, if on a different machine, you'd paste that uh, git. I'm going to go ahead and just choose, well, that's a different one. So we don't want that one. I'm going to go to Bitbucket. I'm going to copy that. Okay, and you know, it's called My Sweet App. I'm gonna call it to the desktop. I'm gonna check it out. And now it'll look the exact same as the other one because it is the exact same, it's a clone. Um, but if I go to my main storyboard, yay, Bitbucket. And this is a different uh, file. This is one's on my desktop, the other one's in my documents. So uh, basically you have multiple coders working on the same piece of code and uh, it just works really nice.